In this video I will show you how to check your, uh, your IP against uh, the spam lists. So uh, first I start with this one. Uh, yesterday I had my system short a short moment, one hour open and so uh, some attacks were done on my machine and it was spending a lot of spam and so my uh, my email account was spilled with uh, with messages and now I had to check what happened and I, cl I closed this relay gate the prob problem was a real an open relay gate in uh, in the, the, uh, the email server was ca is called uh, mail enable so uh, but it doesn't matter if uh, something happens like this then you will get a lot of problems and now how to check this one uh, if you give in and google uh, check uh, ip list then you will find the best list as i find is uh, this one you if you go to super tool at uh, mxtoolbox.com then you will find a list and this list is as you see uh, they they will show you a, a lot of uh, where your uh, where your machine is where the IP of your machine is written into a blacklist so uh, it says okay here at Barracuda for example is the most popular uh, one of the most popular um, uh, blacklists there it was locked and the result what you get there is when you have a lot of points uh, lists entries in this list there you will get a detail page and unfortunately it's not that you uh, are you're not able to uh, to de um, to remove your entry on one point you have to go on uh, every single list and you have to uh, to try there to get the removal for example at Barracuda there's uh, always here this detail point you have to go to Barracuda Dentral, uh, Central, and then you have to write your uh, your stuff and say ask them to uh, to remove your uh, your entry. And the same is for um, for some other machines, uh, for here CBL, for example. And they warn you that you first have to remove it; otherwise, they uh, it might might happen that they keep you in their list. Um, and uh, some some entries are automatically uh, removed so this is for example uh, in uh, protected sky and spam house them it uh, delists you uh, as when you are 24 hours more for example uh, without spamming then they delist you uh, again um, and one more thing is um, <clears throat> with if you have uh, if you send messages to uh, web.de in Germany and uh, GMX then um, they they look against spamhouse spamhouse.org and in spamhouse.org this is uh, I didn't see it there spamhouse.org is not there and also not he here spamhouse so you have to go there uh, separately and <coughs> Uh, one hour ago, I uh, I uh, I've written to those uh, formulas, that, to those forms, that uh, they should uh, remove me from that list. And let's say half an hour later, the the list is, as you see there now, it's okay and nothing is there anymore. So the removal needs half an hour. Let's uh, something like this. Now here is a spamhouse uh, spamhouse.org. There's a separate list in uh, spamhouse.org to remove that stuff. They have a. Uh, they are in several countries. Let's say here in 18 countries, the most popular. Uh, but it's also quite easy to remove your stuff there. And you may check it there. And where did I see that? Let's wait. Yeah. And the spam house when you go there you may look up your stuff spamhouse.org you may look up your address 
again uh, also and you may remove it there or ask for removal and there's uh, also you may also check against your domain so this is for example here my uh, with 25 if you look there so this is also in the list and they, they have three lists there it's a domain blacklist that's the uh, spam house blacklist it's exploits if you have a virus or a, a script on your pc so it's the pc itself and this one the uh, pb list is the what did they write there the policy block list is uh, if you have definite um, IP ranges and this is uh, in contract as I saw with the spam house itself so this is for big big machines but I'm, I'm not sure so I hope I could help you in this point and I hope you will not uh, whenever you have a web server please uh, please don't uh, please always check if the relays are locked so and, and if you have mail enabled there is a a, a lock uh, a checking tool and please always run this checking tool a diagnostic tool uh, this will say if the the relay is open because when the relay is open then uh, all those spammers may bounce around and um, send without any uh, without using your uh, mail server uh, in this, so it's just going there and your list is filled